Radio London time is now exactly 10.30 and that is Bulova watch time. B-U-L-O-V-A Bulova. When you know what makes a watch tick, you're by a Bulova. To choose the perfect gift, just remember this rhyme. When something happy happens, it's Bulova watch time. Wonderful Radio London. News around the Dateline Saturday the 11th of August, Northern Ireland. The Northern Ireland Secretary John Reid is due to meet the Irish Foreign Minister Brian Carroll this morning to review the peace process after the de decision yesterday to suspend devolved government in the province. London. Allegations that the former MP and Conservative Minister Neil Hamilton and his wife were involved in a serious sexual assault have been denied. Mr Hamilton said these allegations were outrageous. The couple were questioned by officers at a police station in East London yesterday before being released on bail without charge. Washington. President Bush has called on both the Israelis and the Palestinians to do more to break the cycle of violence in the Middle East. The president said he questioned the desire of the two sides to end the conflict. Suffolk. A mother from Felixstowe stands to win a million pounds if her nine-year-old son ever lifts a World Cup for Scotland. Cheryl Craig has placed a £10 bet with odds of 100,000 to 1. Her son Robert is currently playing as a striker for his local team. Northern Ireland. Relatives of some of the victims of the Omar bombing have been outlining their plans to sue five men who they allege are linked to the real IRA. But one has been, no one has been brought to justice following the bombing, but in the civil courts, uh, lesser proof is needed for a guilty verdict. Barnsley. A toddler has died after he was run over by a lorry making a delivery to a farm. The 16-month-old boy suffered serious injuries in the accident at the farm at Worsborough near Barnsley. Kent. Following a drug seizure in Kent, three men have been charged. Police say the charges follow the interception of a helicopter in a field on the Isle of Sheppey. The Middle East. Palestinian leader Yasser Arafat has launched a diplomatic campaign to try to secure international condemnation of the occupation by Israel of the Palestinian headquarters in Jerusalem. Space. The American and Russian space agencies, NASA and Rosaviekomos, have agreed to allow more fee-paying passengers to visit the International Space Station. Visitors or space tourists will have to pass certain criteria for physical fitness and language ability. NASA criticized the Russian space agency last year when it allowed the Californian businessman Dennis Tito to spend a week on the space station for a fee of 14 million pounds. Wrestling. The Worldwide Fund for Nature has won the first round in a legal bout with the World Wrestling Federation over the use of the initials WWF. A High Court judge in London upheld a claim by the wildlife charity that the Wrestling Federation had broken an agreement it made seven years ago when it promised to limit its use of the initials. Now the weather. Sunny periods. A little cloud with a high today of 23 degrees. 23 degrees! Yeah! Tonight, some cloud and isolated shower at a low of 12 degrees. Next news on Radio London at 11.30. This is Tony Curry reporting.